I want you to think back to early 2020. Many of us were slowly learning about what was happening in Wuhan, China, where this little known virus was wreaking havoc on that city's population, and crucially too, on its healthcare workers. The aptly titled documentary, 76 Days, takes us back with footage from the dizzying and disorienting lockdown days of January 23rd through April 8th, 2020. It's an eye-opening account, and like the virus itself, it's novel. Instead of telling a story of politics and government action and statistics, 76 Days offers us instead this intimate portrait of frontline workers, the early responders forced to navigate and manage and contain the deadly virus, often at great risk to themselves. The nature of a pandemic is such that no one is immune, and we all now find ourselves contemplating life in a post-pandemic world. Those 76 days remind us of the power of the human touch and our own humanity, especially as indiscriminate victims continue to grapple with pain and suffering. This is a film about resilience, it's about compassion, it's about empathy, and I want to congratulate Hao Wu and to 76 Days, all of you, a deserving winner of the Peabody Award. I'm deeply humbled and honored to be receiving this Peabody Award on behalf of our team. When we first started working on 76 Days more than a year ago, we had no idea when the lockdown of the city of Wuhan would be over, how far this pandemic would travel, or whether there was a film to be made, as the situation in Wuhan and the geopolitical tension between China and the U.S. were changing rapidly. There are many people I would like to thank for getting us this far. My two courageous co-directors, Wei Shi Chen and Anonymous, my producer Jin Chen, Sundance and XTR for crucial funding support, Sheila Nevins and MTV Documentary Films for taking a chance in us and believing in this film. Even though there are plenty of vaccines now here in the US, this pandemic is not over. It won't be over until countries with the money and the vaccines agree to help the less fortunate because this virus doesn't care about national borders or human ignorance or prejudice. It saddens me to see the stories of 76 Days are still being replayed in many countries around the world. Thus, I would like to dedicate this award to the frontline medical workers who are still working tirelessly to save the stricken, to the human potential to be kind, to help each other in times of crisis, as captured in this film.